Saturday. This is the second day of the show, and I didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday. So I'm just kind of going to like walk around and show you how big like as an overview. So you can see it's quite large. Um, it would probably take too long to video like every table and booth. Um, so I will take a lot of pictures and just add them, um, edit them into this video. But there's some really great displays. Test babies are outside. So now I'm just going to take some photos for you guys and I'll include that. Babies to the show. Oh, God. Oh, look at their eyes are staring. I, I, I guess they're. Are those, those are staring? 
This one here is the only one that's not so heavy. That is for sale. The others are so and they with me. Here's Just watch her head. Oh, I wish Dan could see her hold her, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I got to find her a blanket. I'm gonna thank you. Attention please. Well, I don't know. There you go, mom's getting her first doll. Oh, this your purse? She must, she loves this doll. Comes with a rocking horse and everything. You happy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but unfortunately, everybody else gets to carry their babies, and I don't get carry no baby, but well, it's okay. Oh. Well, you don't, I mean, you could take her out for now. Well, not when it's all packed. I'm not going to do it. Once they get it packed up, I'm not touching it. Oh, okay. No, I want to turn her neck. Her neck. But I could package her back up for you. It's fine. I could take her to the uh, tea party tonight. Oh, right, right. <laughs> There was another doll that I fell in love with, but I would need two thousand dollars. Oh um, my God! She just can't. Doll, and it's a little, a little Asian doll, absolutely. Olivia Stone. You can get like six of ours. Right? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because there's this one. That, this is my favorite. This is one of mine too that I love. You did years. yesterday. You loved her. <laughs> <laughs> but again, she's she only has this here, and then this is all clean bags. Yeah, so you can't dress her like that. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It is um, Saturday, June the twenty-second, and it's about five thirty p.m. And um, I really didn't get to um, talk much about what happened yesterday at the show. So yesterday was the first day of the show. Today was the second and last day of the show. The show is now finished. Um, and uh, it's funny because we originally planned to spend just all day Friday at the show. And then Saturday we were just going to do whatever, like not go to the show. Um, so what happened was um, yesterday, like we kind of slept in a little bit. We got um, room service breakfast. Um, I'll put some pictures of that. And um, then I got ready. Um, my mom wasn't quite quite ready, so I went down to the show around ten, and you know just looked around, did a little bit of shopping, and. Um, and then she joined me, I think around 12.30. And um, I went to a workshop to do with indoor photography of rewar dolls from 1 until 2. And then I had another workshop from 3 until 4 that was about waiting and assembling your doll by Demi Hen Debbie Henshaw. And it was a really great workshop. I learned a lot from that one. And um, the way she weights her dolls is amazing. It's very, very realistic. So... I really want to um, try getting into waiting mine that way. Um, and then um, my mom and I, well, the hour in between um, the two workshops, my mom and I looked around, and my mom continued to look around while I was in the Debbie Henshaw workshop. And then after that, um, there was an hour left to the show from 4 until 5, and we just continued to look around from there. And then um, we had... Um, then at 7 p.m. we had the doll fam baby shower and wow like it was a small room but there was a lot of people that turned up for that it was great 
everyone brought a doll and um, we started off by going around the room and everyone introduced themselves, where they're from and how they got into the dolls and stuff. So it was really interesting and everyone had some good laughs and shared some stories. And then, um, and I, I did take some video um, there um, because we had a, a gift exchange. And so I got some video from that. Um, my friend Emily got a, a new baby doll, a reborn, in the gift exchange, which was amazing. And um, she was super excited about that. And um, so, yeah, and then they ordered in pizza. Everyone chipped in $5 for pizza. So that was a great cheap dinner. And, um, and then it was a girl named Tracy. It was her birthday. And um, so they had cupcakes. And, um, and then also um, someone made up little goodie bags for everyone that had a hairbrush in it and a hairbrush and comb set in it and some Hershey Kisses. So that was a fun evening, and then we ended up staying up in the room here till like 2.30 in the morning. So then today, my plan was to, because yesterday I met Bonnie Brown, I brought Shiloh with me, um, and I was hoping to get her bum signed, but Bonnie Brown didn't have a pen. So I just got a picture of me, Shiloh, and Bonnie Brown yesterday. She told me to come back today, and she would have a pen to sign her butt. So my plan was to go to the show for just an hour today to get her butt signed and to get some video because I didn't really take video of the show yesterday for you guys and also get more pictures because I really didn't get too many pictures yesterday because I was just too busy looking at everything and picking up babies and stuff. So um, so I, I just wanted to get more photos and then... In amongst that, I ended up seeing some babies that I hadn't seen yesterday and started looking and I started talking to my friend Amy and this and that. And next thing you know, we pretty much spent the whole afternoon at the doll show um, and uh, I got a couple of things. And then, oh, the coolest thing happened just before we left. Um, this woman walked up to me and she... Um, tapped me on the shoulder and said, excuse me. And I turned around and she took, she gave me a rolled up bill in my hand and said, please have breakfast on us. And I was like, what? And I was like, oh, thank you. And then I look in my hand and she gave me $20. It was just a random act of kindness. And I just, I couldn't believe it. Like it was amazing. So now I feel like, you know, paying it forward, it was so great. Um, and so we had hoped to go swimming, but we spent most of our day at the show. And we just made a quick run on the shuttle bus over to the Walmart again. <laughs> We've been to Walmart like every day basically because we can get some food and stuff there. We got McDonald's for dinner. And um, so, yeah, so... Um, we've just been having fun talking to people, seeing all the babies. There's babies everywhere. Um, then, um, at the doll show, um, let me see if I can find. So at the doll show, we got lots of great stuff. Um, <clears throat> let me show you guys. First off, they were giving out free doll magazines. And there was a man, now see, my mom came down too late, so she missed out on these because we couldn't find the man once she came downstairs, and I think he probably ran out or something. But this man was just handing these out for free, giving my credit cards a workout at the Down East Doll Show. See? I also bought a plumpy rumpy diaper, which I can't show you because it's on my new baby. Yes, I caved, and I bought this baby. I've been eyeballing him on the computer for a while now, and I couldn't believe that he was here. And so I've been thinking about him since yesterday, and I got him because I just think his expression is priceless. This is the Hannah Kit by Jessica Shank. And um, when I first saw the sculpt on Bountiful Baby's website, I didn't like it. 
but the way this one did it is so cute and she put tears like a little bit of tears and it looks like he's about to cry <laughs> he's so cute with his little hands and he came with this little um um preemie bottle and this blanket wearing this outfit he's really cute and he's wearing the plumpy rumpy diaper which uh, I'll show it to you guys another time I can't get his thing off but he's really cute he's really heavy but he's great and here's uh, Shiloh this is what she was wearing today when Buggy Brown signed her butt <laughs> and my mom posed them like this on the bed it was really cute we really, really wanted um, one of the African-American dolls that were there. Um, there was two very talented artists that had African-American dolls that were absolutely stunning and gorgeous. But one was $1,250, like $1,250, um, which is a little bit much. And um, the other one was on eBay. And the last we checked, the bidding was for $850. So that was a little bit over our price range too. So, um, so this one was in a, a good price range. So I could not resist him. <laughs> I kept thinking about him. Um, so I I almost got a miniature, but I felt that the price was basically the same price that you would pay for a reborn this size. So why get a mini when you can get one you can cuddle? So that's him there. I think they're both going to go to the tea party with us tonight. So I got to get my costume on because I'm going to be wearing my Roaring Twenties costume. <laughs> so I got to paint my nails red and everything. So yeah, that's it for now.